Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be showing you how to play split screen on two monitors with Gears of War 4 both on AMD and Nvidia. As you can see here I'm using a single monitor and um, well we have sp split screen there but I can do it using two monitors instead. So yeah guys I got you covered both AMD and Nvidia. As you can see here now I'm using two monitors. There are black balls on the sides, but that is the only downside I found to this. I didn't find a way to fill those black balls, so I'm sorry about that. But it's much simpler than you imagine, and it's, and it's fantastic if you want to play with someone some split screen. This works only with campaign on PC, the horde mode and versus mode. It's only a split screen for Xbox One. For some reason, PC doesn't support that on split screen, but at least we have the campaign. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first, as you can see, I have two monitors here. One connected through HDMI and other do DVI. It doesn't really matter. Just mentioning it. Both are 1080p monitors. Let me show you. We go into the NVIDIA control panel. And as you can see, And as you can see here, we have two LG monitors. They don't need to be the same brand. They only need to be the same resolution, if possible. As you can see, 1080p and 1080p, native, both. So what to do in order to make it work with Gears of War 4 for split screen? Well, Gears of War 4 split screen method they use is just splitting the, um, the monitor in half in the middle here, horizontal cut. So what we will need is to have one monitor over the other. So let's go into surround and physics, span displays with surround, configure, and as you can see here it let us cut the image in vertical. That's not what we need. What we need is this one over this one. In order to do that we go here into topology and we select two by one. And as you can see there we got that. And the resolution will be 1920 by 2160. So instead of 1920 by 1080, it will be 1920 by 2160, which is the both vertical axis of the monitors. So you just sum 1080 by 2. Like if the monitor was continuing into the roof. But it's automatic, so you don't have to touch this. It's over there. Then you put enable surround. And what you will see will be kind of weird at, at the beginning, but you get used to it. So as you can see here, the image is like this monitor was in the top of this one, as you can see. So after doing that, what you do is close this. Okay guys, so now if you have an AMD card, just right click on desktop into MD Radeon settings. This will show up, as you can see there, Radeon settings. And you choose iFinity. After you go there, just quick setup. The screens will go black, both. I just have to wait a couple seconds, a window will show up. As you can see, displays are extended, one through HDMI, the other through DVI. And now a window will show up here. As you can see there, it's like this. We don't want it like this, just on the NVIDIA side. Just arrange displays. I'm sorry, try that and set up. <laughs> Once you click that, another window will pop up. I'm sorry, I will try it again. Try that and set up. This will show up as you can see, and uh, here it says 2x1, two 1x2, one. Two, one two. select that one, click next. And okay, it will be very small as you can see, it will use a high resolution for some reason, and it will be freeze for a second, you just have to wait. And the screen goes black, as you can see, both screens, and this will show up. As you can see, everything is gray. And you choose next. 
and you'll have to align it if you want to you can align it the way you want I'll keep it like that, next and as you can see now I don't have the taskbar anymore and if I go down if I go up so as you can see we have an entire window right now just like I did on the NVIDIA one so no problems and here you can name the your you can name the group of this place if you want to I'll keep it like that and that's it we just close this and launch the game okay so now we're going to launch the game we open the Windows Store we go here and into my library and we choose Gears of War 4 and we just click on play and we wait for the game to launch as you can see it's like it was only one screen we have half of the logo in each monitor that's a good sign we wait for the game to load as you can see still half on each screen just like we wanted we go into options we just pr play ho press home or just options there and we go into video settings and as you can see we're using 1920 by 2160 this is the resolution we wanted if you have a lower end GPU you can use a lower resolution if you want it will look blurrier but it, you'll have better performance this is over 1080p I'm using a GTX 1060 now so keep that in mind but yeah if you have a less capable GPU just lower the scale resolution and you'll be fine and then you can also use dynamic resolution if you have performance issues it will dynamically change the resolution depending on your frame rate to keep a stable frame rate or you can use a higher resolution if your GPU allows for, for that but yeah we're fine so we go into campaign versus and hordes unfortunately don't work with split screen on PC I hope they add that on a patch but the campaign works with, sp with split screen so we put there we select the controller we turn it on we press center since I forgot to turn on the controller and we select local split screen well player one will be the mouse and keyboard and the, loc the guest player will be the controller okay so after that we just select continue or new or whatever you want and the game will finish loading and there we are we have one of the split parts split parts in one monitor and the other in the other monitor the only bad thing about this is that we have those black bars on the sides that's because this wasn't made to play on two monitors it was made to chop the screen in half but you see my point this is way better than chopping a screen in half and play with half a screen each and here I'm using the controller as you can see and that one is the keyboard and mouse very simple and we are both dead awesome I'll get closer with this one and as you can see there I'm moving with the controller so yeah it works I hope you guys found this useful thanks for watching and see you next time